Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So today we're going to be looking at my bank. Last time I did this was in March and in that video I asked how often do you want to see bank videos and the general consensus I found was that you didn't want it super common like I used to do where I made a bank video literally every single month and that got stale you know after a couple years of doing that. So obviously I don't want to do it that common and then I think having it every six months is a good compromise. It's not super common for you guys and there's enough time in between to where you know there actually should be some progress. And just as a quick warning, my bank videos tend to be pretty long and I just talk over my bank so this is gonna be perfect content for you just to do a skill or something in the background. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy. So if you've ever seen a bank video from me before, you know what this tab is most likely. It's just my fuck all tab. I mean, there's no consistency in here, really. It's just a bunch of random items. The only things in here that actually mean anything are these items in the middle around here. These are the rare loots that I've gotten from Clue Scrolls. You know, you can see the god pages and all the god armor and stuff. I've been working on some Clue loot videos for a very long time now, so uh, I still need to finish that, but that's just the relics of when I used to work on that. The way I'm going to be showing you guys my bank is every tab I'll tell you the value of that specific tab. So, for example, this tab right now, even though it's a pile of random shit, it is worth 12 mil in total, which might not seem like much, but considering it's all just random shit, I am fine with that. So every tab I'll be telling you what it's all worth, and then that's a good way for me to add it all up at the end, and it's a good way for you guys to keep engaged without me doing a thousand price checks. So I've had enough with that random tab. Here we are with my Herblore slash Potions tab. I mean, I don't really fiddle around with this too much. I usually just restock every now and then. And what you gotta know is a lot of these uh, brew flasks and restore flasks actually are a Raxor loot that I still have um, from my uh, Raxor kills way back in the day. Surprisingly, it's 93 mil alone, so nothing to scoff at. It's really nice uh, for just an Herblore tab. But yeah, moving on, here is my summoning slash clue scroll tab. So you might be confused, why do I have a clue scroll tab, even though I just showed you some clue scroll items? I found the best way for me in terms of organization is to have all my uh, emote clue items, like where you have to, you know, wear green D high chaps, you know, amulet of power and do an emote. Uh, those type of clue scrolls, I found the best way to do them is just have all those items in just one tab. It might seem really weird, but it works out for me, and I don't really have that many problems. But yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. It looks like since my last video, I think I was at 50,000 crimsons back in March, so I haven't increased too much, but it's always nice to see this amount of charms, right? And if you were wondering, this summoning tab is worth a measly 6 mil. It's not super high. Uh, most of it really is just the Nihil pouches, but it is what it is. And then for the next tab, I've changed this a little bit. This is my Herblore Habitat tab back when it was actually a thing I did. I don't really do it anymore. I do have all these herbs I probably should use up because I can make them into jujus and sell them. I'm pretty sure these Samadins are for the juju farming potions, so that's actually a lot of money if I remember correctly, so I probably should use all this up. I'm just too lazy. The one thing I changed about this tab is I put in my skilling sets in here, like, you know, my shark outfit, my mining outfit. It used to be in a different tab, but I found it's just better to be in here. Not that it really matters, but I'm just really anal about the organization of my bank. And then you might be thinking, oh, what is this tab worth? There's a lot of items in here. Well, it turns out all of these items are pretty much untradeable, except these jujus up here, or jujus in the making, I should say. Same with these herbs, but they're currently not tradeable, so I'm gonna say this tab is worth zero. But if I do make these herbs, it will be, you know, eh, a couple of mil probably, if not a little more than that. But yeah, on that note, uh, we're in the rare items tab now. And by rare items, I don't mean like rare boss drops. I actually have a tab for that later, but this is like some, you know, really rare drops that are kind of collectible or are just really hard to get in general. So obviously the first row is all these spirit gems that um, the first three you can get from slayer monsters and you know some bosses and I just noticed I don't have them in the correct order it's bothering me but uh, then these three the diamond dragonstone and onyx are only available from treasure hunter I believe so that's just from over the couple years they've been out, I think. A couple of things to note, I would say, is I still have these two pieces for the 
shadow creature pet. I'm still missing the, I don't remember what it's called, but hopefully I get it one day. Um, and then this egg collection, you might be wondering why I have 45,000 eggs. It's just an inside joke with one of my buddies. And then the Triskelions are actually really nice. I have like 33 full keys, and I've mentioned this multiple times on my channel. I'm working on 50 total keys to make a video to see my total loot, and it's very slow going. I really only get it from Barrows, and that's about it. So if I ever go for 200 mil thieving, um, I'll get a lot more Triskelions, but I don't see myself doing that anytime soon as I already did a 120 thieving video. Got all these brawling gloves, mainly from Slayer and thieving, and I put all my auras in here. I found this is the best tab for them, just looks wise. But before we leave this tab, I do wanna say that these proteins, I'm still not sure if I should be doing these on Double Experience Weekend, but I just had a really cool idea of making a complete proteins guide very, very soon, where I would go in each of the methods of using each of the protein items to help you guys out if you have them. But you're probably wondering, how much is this tab worth? It's worth 18 mil, and it's coming from the eggs and the magic note paper, and that is it. That's the only real tradable items in here, but uh, I'm never gonna sell this. This is a prized possession of mine. I'm never gonna sell it, Mike. Don't worry, don't worry. But yeah, here is my scaling slash farming tab. Soon this tab is gonna be completely liquidated because I'm getting very close to 200 mil farming. Once I get that, I'll probably make a video having a good cry. I've had this tab for several years now, so it's gonna be really sad when I get rid of it, but it's always nice to look at this tab, honestly. And this is my main tab. This is where I throw my shit when I, you know, go on a farm run after a Slayer task. I put everything in here just for convenience sake. I also have my supplies in here like food, you know, runes, teleports. I found that this is the tab I am in the most. So yeah, anything of importance to mention, I guess these broad arrowheads would be one of them because Double Experience Weekend's coming up. They're going to be quite expensive, I hope, uh, by the time it drops. And I have 600k that I've been collecting uh, over the past couple months, well, several months actually. But yeah, I've been doing a lot of farm runs uh, lately, so I have a lot of herbs down here. That's actually a lot of money. I think these two herbs right here are like 12 mil total. It all adds up, guys. I really recommend doing herb runs. And how much is this tab worth? It's actually 170 mil. That is a lot. That really is a lot. And most of it's coming from these broad arrowheads, um, the various farming items. Like, these coconuts add a considerable amount of money. And then, obviously, the runes. I have a lot of runes in this tab. A lot of it is from Barrows and Slayer. Next up, we have my gear. Now, this usually doesn't look like this. Like I said earlier, I usually plop everything into one tab. So most of this gear is usually, you know, thrown around in my bank all over the place. So just from my bank videos, I put it into one tab. I don't organize it, but just for convenience for you guys, I put it in here so you know what all my gear is if you wanted to look. Of course, I have the Nox items, you know, the scythe, the staff, and the bow. Uh, I don't really use the staff all that much, as much as the other items, mainly because I don't use magic as often. I also do have my Dragors, and if you are wondering why I have both, because some people always ask me why I use both on stream and stuff, or why am I using blank on blank, I find that Dragors are better on single way DPS. For example, if you're on Vindicta, it's only one guy you're killing, so I think Dragors are better. Some people might disagree, but I've just found that I do better with Dragors. Now on a creature, that you're killing multiple or you have multiple enemies that annoy you, the scythe is better. For example, Twin Furies and Hellwer, because you gotta get rid of the wolves so you're able to use resonance effectively. That's my whole shtick about it. Um, people always ask, so why not answer it? And I like both, they're both great. Additionally, the Dragor Mace, a main hand, gives you nine prayer bonus, which is always useful. But yeah, I still have all of my augmented Nex armor with all the perks, and you might be wondering why I have not done augmented, like, Tectonic and Serenic and Malevolent yet. I just don't have the money to blow right now. I, I have cash, but I don't want to use it on it because I'm fine with Nex Armor. It, I don't want to go through the process of perks again, so I'm just going to stick with this for now until I get a lot more money. Then I will upgrade, but uh, these tier 90 DPS armors have not seen the light of day for a long time because I am 
content with the next armor. And I bet you're waiting on how much this tab is worth. It's actually 788 mil. Um, I took the GE prices of all these augmented items, obviously because I can't price check them, but I can always get rid of the augment to sell them at a later date. So they still are worth uh, money in my bank. So almost 800 mil for one tab, that is fantastic. And we're not even to the bulk of my bank yet, but now we are. So here is my holy grail of my bank. A lot of people always ask me to look at this tab when I'm streaming or something because it's well organized, it looks nice, it's crazy how much money the first like seven rows are. Um, after the first seven rows it kind of drops off into randomness. I do have a lot of my corp items down here but after about seven rows I really don't know how to organize it. There's just, I just don't know, it's too much items. So at least the first part looks really nice. But yeah, it's just like so much money in here. And this isn't even the full tab yet. There is one more tab, don't worry. But I've been creating this uh, loot tab since February of 2015. So it's been almost a year and a half now. And not to mention, I actually do have over a bill, if not more, that should be right here uh, in terms of what I've earned since the series started. Now it's all been spent long ago, but like I have like a bill cash from a rack store that should be right here, but it's in other things currently. And it's actually worth 500 mil exactly more than my gear tab. It's 1,288 mil, so almost 1.3 bill just for this common items tab from my Slayer and Boss Pet series. And we're not even done with any of those series, so there's a lot left to gain here. And with that said, we're into the final tab of my bank, and this is all the rare drops from the various videos I do on my channel. As you can see, I have a lot of God Wars equipment from Sarah Doman. I have like 2,000 kills in this tab. I have some DK loot. I've done like 600, I think. I probably shouldn't go really into detail. You've seen all the series probably. But further down, you see all my Barrows items. You know, my Divine Sigil that I'm really proud of. It seems like this tab would be like ridiculous amounts of money, but it is only 256 mil. I say only just because it's comparing to the one we just saw, but that's still really high. Um, it adds a considerable chunk to my bank it really does so before i go into another tangent let's just figure out how much the bank is actually worth and if you've been keeping score of how much the bank is worth up till now too bad you're wrong you are absolutely wrong you get an f the reason you're wrong is that i actually have a friend of mine that owes me 80 mil cash because i lended him a Knox bow back when it was 150 mil and he's paid back almost half of it. He still owes me 80 mil. So now with all of it added up, including the 80 mil, it's around 2.7 billion GP for my bank with about 11 mil change. But, you know, we're just going to round it to 2.7 because prices might be fucked up. It's RuneScape. You guys know the drill. So 2.7 bill for my bank uh, right now is crazy. If you guys remember from March when I made the previous bank video, my bank was at... 2.5 billion so i have increased 200 mil which is great considering i've spent a lot of money on invention i've spent money on restocking herbal stuff just kept on spending money on farming so it's really nice that i still increased 200 mil and i think a lot of that has to do with the scythe the scythe has gone up so much it's like 250 mil right now plus i found a random thing in my bank that i forgot about and i went over that in a previous video but Honestly, I'm happy with how it is right now, and it's too bad we're not at 3 billion yet. I still have never been to the 3 bill mark. I just keep on hovering around it. I really want to hit it sometime, but I just got to get that motivation to keep on bossing. So maybe when I make my 2017 bank video in a few months, we will be at that point, but only time will tell. But before I go, I do recommend joining my French chat. It's always nice to see new people, and the name of the French chat is my name, Fat Nooblet. So if you want to join that, go right ahead. Whenever I'm on, I'm in that FC, and it'd be nice to talk to you guys more one-on-one. -on -one. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.